Hello everyone, greetings from Japan. Today is Thursday, 7.55 a.m., November 25th, 2021. I just finished watching this uh, suggested video for today. It's Eric Dubay's The Total Eclipse of the Mind. Very good video on gravity. I recommend it everyone to watch it. So today's video, I'm going to talk about a subject that I have had for a while. I saved this picture back in May. So I've had this picture on my phone and I always wanted to make a video about it to talk about this and uh, just so many other things came along first. But I want you guys to pay attention to this picture. It was taken in Florianopolis, Brazil. That's in the south of Brazil, uh, facing the Atlantic, facing east. I, I don't have the exact time of this picture, but I remember when we when the guy posted. There was a lot of talk about this picture, a lot. And uh, so what's going on here? You see the moon on the right, and you see the sun rising on the left. So it was probably around, I don't know, let's say 4 a.m., 5 a.m. in Brazil, 4.30 a.m., very early morning. Now, the problem with this picture is that it definitely destroys the heliocentric model because the sun is supposedly 93 million miles away and the moon is being lit by an object that is behind it. So uh, the heliocentric model says that the moon reflects the light of the sun, but uh, that's not the case. You see the shiny moon, the moon is shining on the right. Uh, according to the heliocentric model, it's 238,000 miles away, being lit by an object that's 93 million miles away behind it. So what I did, I went to timeanddate.com, uh, since we were talking about all this picture a lot, so I went to timeanddate.com and I was able, a lot of people were saying like, oh, this week the, the sun and the moon are close together, just like that. So look at this image on timeanddate.com. This is from May 3rd, the day before the picture was taken. I, I have a guy there in the southeast of, Japan, of Brazil facing east, Looking at the moon and the sun coming, that's on the the next day. I think it's the May May fourth, uh, and then you know, same thing. You happened the following day, and then the following day was the same thing. Look at the date, May fifth, and what the people's facing, they would see the sun coming and behind the moon. It was the whole week that that month. That's uh, on May sixth. Same thing, someone from Brazil would be able to see the sun and the moon approaching from the east. And uh, it goes on for another day, May 7th, the same thing. And uh, we will see, I think, one more day or two more days. No, no, there is one more, uh, May 8th. You see there, the same situation. The moon was in front of the sun and the sun behind it and someone in Brazil, on the coast of Brazil. In this case here, like someone on the west coast of the South America, let's say Peru or Ecuador, would see the same thing, would see this, the moon and the sun that is supposed to be behind it and, you know, could see both of them. So that, that happened for that week. So this is converting uh, May 4th on the flat Earth map. This is exactly as we see in the picture, sun on the left, and the moon on the right side. So this is the event that happened on May 4th and I had this in my mind to make a video about it and you can see the, someone in Brazil just like in the picture showing facing east could see the moon on the right and the sun rising on the left. Right, that proves that the in the heliocentric model the moon being in front of the sun could not be lit by the object that is behind it. It just shows that the moon has its own light and the sun also has its own light. So both are luminaries, according to the Bible, both emit their own light. So we don't have the, in the heliocentric model that the moon reflects. 
the sun, no, that's not the case. The moon has its own light, emits its own light, it's a luminary, just like the Bible says. Another thing I want to talk about real quick, it's about the eclipse that happened on the 19th, November 19th. Actually, in Brazil, uh, here in Japan, that was on Friday. It happened on Friday the 20th, not Thursday. So, this picture was taken by my wife. She was coming home. She leaves work at 5 p.m. every day. And she was coming home and she took the picture and sent to me. I was having classes, so I could not really go outside and film like I had planned. I thought the eclipse was going to start around 3 p.m., but it started at around 5. So there is a problem there. If you pay attention, it's 5.26 p.m. She was facing east. It was dark. But facing west, the sun was still up. The, the sun was still at the horizon. It was still daytime. So the, this eclipse proved one more time that the shadow of the moon is not caused by the earth being in between the sun and the moon because both were in the sky at the same time. And if you see there, the lit part of the moon is facing south when the sun was on the west side. Uh, it's not reflecting any light of the sun. The moon has its own light and it was being overshadowed by a dark body in the sky, not by the sh shade of the moon, the, of the earth. So it, it was amazing because I was sending messages to my students and I was telling them, hey, just go outside and look at the eclipse and see the sun on the west side is setting and you see the moon was eclipsed. And they were saying, wow, you know, like uh, I was seeing posts here in Japan, people saying, oh, that's not being caused by the earth's shadow. Something else is causing this eclipse. And it was very interesting, a lot of people. So we had cloudy skies here, but later, at around 8 p.m., my wife, my daughter, they were uh, they went outside and they were able to see the bloody moon. It was really red. But it was a very interesting eclipse. A lot of people saw here in Japan and they were saying, oh, this is not being caused by the shade of the earth. There's something else that's causing this eclipse. So it was an eye opener for many people here and uh, we've been talking about flat earth for a while so many of them were able to see that the eclipse of the moon was not being caused by the uh, shadow of the earth. Hey guys, I just want to add one more thing here before we close this video. This is from Facebook. Facebook has been, you know, adding some fact checks to flat earth videos or pictures or messages, anything flat earth related. They've been adding some form of censorship on videos and pictures, flat earth pictures. This is from Facebook and this other one from Google. Most of you, if you watch any flat earth videos nowadays, you're gonna see this on the bottom of each video before the, even the comments, you see this part there. So this is one of the reasons I really like the Flat Earth Clock app, you know, Zodiac app, because you have the video of the day, it really breaks into the, uh, the censorship that's going on, allows you to watch videos, and there's a whole bunch of videos there that you can just share with friends and watch them uh, censorship free, you know, you just have access to those videos. Because if you search for them, you're not going to find them. I, uh, I have trouble even finding sometimes my own videos. Just for you to have an idea, I have backup channels. And if you go to Google and uh, if you want to watch your own videos. Actually, I, when, I, when I opened my two backup channels, I uploaded like 100 videos in one day. So there is a way that you go to like YouTube searching for videos that you search for uploaded today, as I'm showing here. And I couldn't find my own videos. Even though I had uploaded 100 videos in one day, I tried for almost a week finding to find my own videos. I could not find them. I found only one or two that really came up on the search engine. But that's the amount of censorship. Even if you upload your own video, you go there, the video that I upload of the day, this week or today, 
uh, it's going to be hard to find. They only show the bad stuff, you know, like Dr. Or whatever his name is, Professor Daves and all, all these guys. But this is one of the re reasons I really like the, the Flat Earth Zodiac app because you have access to the videos that you want to watch and there's a archive there. You just flip and then you watch all kinds of videos you want, biblical videos or just regular ones. Uh, you can share them. I, I think it's a great tool for Flat Earth. It's a plus, it's not a minus. So I really like it. Uh, I've had it since it came around and I'm really happy with it. I subscribe, I'm not afraid, I'm a blue dot. Because, you know, the government knows where I am regardless. Uh, I don't have to be afraid of, uh, you know, friend f finder. Because the government knows where I am, I don't hide, uh, you know, myself. Uh, you know, I have my email address, they have my IP address they got everything so you know there's no way uh, my phone has like what three four cameras and uh, you know i mean they know where i am they hear me i'm not afraid so i mean i don't know this is just my point of view uh, i really like it it's a usable tool i use it uh, okay so that's what i have to say so you guys take care have a good day see you later bye bye